Good morning. My name is Chris Natumians. It is 1030 and I'm calling this uh, the meeting of the zoning administrator to order. The first item of, uh, on the agenda is approval of minutes for September 5th, 2024. Um, we are now taking public comments on this item. If you're attending in person and wish to make a comment on the minutes, please raise your hand. Seeing none, I will close public comments. Um, the minutes for September 5th are approved as submitted. Now we're, we are now taking public comments on um, non-agenda matters. This is a time when any person may address the matters not listed on this agenda, but which are within the subject matter jurisdiction of this committee. If you're attending in person and wish to make a comment, please raise your hand. Seeing none, I will close the public comments. I will skip over the statement of purpose. Um, there are no consent items. Uh, the first scheduled item is item 6.1. Minor conditional use permit for a child daycare center for Storybrook Village Preschool located at 4295 Montgomery Drive, file number CP24-026, and Planner Briscoe will be presenting. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Janet Briscoe, and I'm here today to present to you Stony Brook Village Preschool located at 4295 Montgomery Drive. The applicant is proposing to operate a child, care, child daycare center open Monday through Friday. 7.30 is the early care, 7.30 to 8.30 is the early, early care um, access, and from 4 to 5 is the extended care access. The maximum capacity is about 24 children, and there's a staggered arrival and pickup times in order to avoid congestion in, a, in a, um, the site's parking lot. And since this, since this um, project is within a retail and business services land use designation, um, a condition use permit is required. As I said, um, as I said previously, the, the zoning is general commercial and the general plan land use designation is retail and business services, which allows for retail and service enterprises. And here's an aerial a review of where the project will be located. And as you can see, it's, it's a, on Montgomery Drive and a, and a project location is towards the back of this property. And here's the site plan. And those little gray dots at the top of the screen, no, that represents the fence. And so, so the children cannot get into the street. And here's a traffic circulation plan. And again, Pickup and arrival times are staggered in order to avoid congestion in this parking lot. And there's about a 40 foot buffer from the preschool to where the children are picked up in order to in order to, in order for the safety of the children. And the project has been found in compliance with the California Environmentally Environmental Quality Act, pursuant to CEQA guidelines section 15301. <clears throat> the project is categorically exempt from CEQA because the project consists of only minor alterations to an existing structure and will not involve any expansion of the existing or proposed use. At this time, there are no unresolved issues as a result of staff review. No public comments have been received, and staff analysis has, has con concluded that all findings can be met. Thus, it is recommended by the Planning and Economic Development Department that the Zoning Administrator approve a minor conditional use permit to allow a child daycare center at 4295 Montgomery Drive. That's my contact information at the bottom left of the screen. And thank you. Thank you, Planner Briscoe. Um, I'd like to open the public comment. Um, first of all, is the applicant here? Yes. Did you want to add anything to Chandler's no, presentation? Okay. It is storybook. Storybook. Story okay. There's always an R there. Oh, okay. We've relocated another location in Santa Rosa. Before, I think I've seen. I think I've seen this. Okay. Um, is there anyone else wishing to speak on this item? Seeing none, I will close the public comment. Um, uh, City Council has deemed um, child care to be um, attracting more child care in the city to be a, a top priority due to um, severe shortage in child care in general. And that's why a lot of the um, zoning requirements have been reduced to um, attract and make it easier to open child care services. Um, I find that the location is appropriate. Um, and um, I agree with the 
the findings that Glenna Briscoe made. And because of that, I will be approving um, this project, um, these storybook village preschool located at 4295 Montgomery Drive, file number CUP 24-026. Thank you. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, yes. That's... Please note this action is final unless an appeal is filed. The city clerk's office within 10 calendar days of today's decision pursuant to zoning code section 20-62.030 for this item, that date would be September 30th. So after September 30th, if there are no appeals, um, the approval is fine. Thank you. It's okay. Moving on to item 6.2. This is a minor conditional use permit and minor design review for a new roof-mounted telecommunications facility located at 3562 Red Farm Circle. File number PRJ24-008 and Planner Hartman will be presenting. Thank you, Zoning Administrator Tumians. Let me just pull up this project. All right. I am the assigned planner for this project, which is a new telecommunications facility located on the rooftop of 3562 Round Barn Circle. Um, the building that's existing, it's a three-story office building, um, and the proposal is uh, basically putting that facility on the rooftop and then screening it with an RFP wall. Um, which will screen it from public view. This is the aerial view of the neighborhood. Um, so we have the project site here. Um, we have some residential, uh, I think it's a medium density residential to the east. Um, some, I believe it's open space to the north um, and some more uh, commercial uses to the south and west. This is just a closer view, aerial view of the site. So the general plan land use designation is retail and business services, which allows retail and service enterprises, offices, restaurants, etc. cetera. Um, and this use uh, is consistent with the general plan designation. It's, it also has a zoning district of plan development, um, specifically commercial plan developments. Um, and the plan development district is intended to recognize the advantage that integrated community offers over conventional zoning techniques in implementing general plan goals through specific site developments. This is the site plan here and uh, right in this, uh, can't, you see, can't see my mouse, oh, there it is. Um, right in this area here is where the facility is and the kind of the dark line showing there is the screening. This is the elevation um, on top is what's existing and then the uh, bottom there is what is proposed. This is the north elevation. And here are some uh, photo simulations I have a couple of various angles here. And these are the federal, like, federal regulations that the uh, tower uh, has been deemed to be in compliance with. These are also some required findings um, and staff was able to make all the findings and it's recommended approval um, for this uh, application. The project has been found in compliance with the California Environmental Quality Act and qualifies for a class one exemption under section 15301 because the proposed modifications do not substantially change the physical dimensions of the existing tower ground station resulting in a negligible 
expansion of the existing use. And I did receive um, just a couple of phone calls, um, I believe from the neighboring uh, residential complex, um, just wondering how this facility will affect um, their, their livelihood. And I think it was essentially pertaining to re radio frequency. Um, and I just wanted to point out that an independent um, radio frequency analysis was prepared by the OSC engineering group on uh, February 9th of 2024. And it was determined that the proposed installation can comply with the prevailing standards for limiting human exposure to radio frequency energy and does not cause a significant impact on the environment. So therefore, it is recommended by the Planning and Economic Development Department that the Zoning Administrator approve by resolution um, a minor conditional use permit and minor design review permit for the new telecommunications facility located at 3562 Round Barn Circle. And my contact information is here on the screen. Um, I also have the applicant um, representative here uh, with us at, as well as over Zoom. Um, if you have any questions. Yes, I was looking at the photo simulations and the screening looks to be a different color than the building. Will the colors match or blend with um, the colors of the building? Uh, it'll match the color of the existing screen wall that's already Oh, okay, there. got it. Okay. okay. And was it's it- kind of hard to do that with photo sims. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. Um, and then um, is there any generate generators or additional equipment will no. that be? Okay. Okay. Oh, and I should add that the um, facility is well over 300 feet away from a habitable structure. Okay. So. Okay. I know there's a lot of um, development that's occurring there. Um, it's probably need necessitating the need for this um, tower. I'm going to open up for public comment. If you're attending in person and wish to make a comment, please raise your hand. Seeing none, I'll close the public comment. Is there anything you wanted to add to Suzanne? Yeah, the only thing I would add is that um, uh, this site, while being a new site, is actually a replacement site okay. for the one on the 24-hour fitness on Industrial Avenue. Got it. Which has an expiring lease. And that site has all of the antennas visible on the top yeah. for the days of screening requirements. So that one will end up coming down. So uh, we get to replace an unscreened site with a newly, with a completely screened site. So it's kind of a win-win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I appreciate that the screen completely covers or yeah. hides the, <laughs> the equipment. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I agree with uh, Planner Hartman's findings. I can also make the findings um, and I agree. Um, I agree with all the um, findings that were made. And with that, I'll be approving minor conditional use permit and minor design review um, for a telecommunication facility located at 3562 Round Barn Circle, file number PRJ24-008. Um, please note that this action is final unless an appeal is filed with the city clerk's office within 10 calendar days. And for this item, the deadline for that would be September 30th. Um, there are no other items on the agenda, so with that, I'll be adjourning the zoning administrator meeting. Thank you.